Today, I'm going to talk about... I'm going to talk about something I found on Reddit, okay? Just the other day, as I was trolling the trolls on Reddit, I came across this question that was asked without any malice aforethought. I shall read the question aloud as I simultaneously display it on the screen for you to enjoy. Need an honest answer. No more BS sponsored videos. For those of you that have multiple HTs, is a $235 better than a $135 better than a $35 radio as far as reception? And of course, because this question was posted on Reddit, all of the Reddit experts jumped right in and confirmed beyond any shadow of a doubt that no, there is no difference between a $35 radio and a $135 radio or a $235 radio. And some of the other Reddit experts also jumped in and confirmed beyond any shadow of a doubt that yes, there is a difference between a $35 radio and a more expensive $135 or $235 radio. Then some people started arguing over industry standards for measuring audio distortion and what brand of power meters are the best. And of course, there were several multi-paragraph long replies, ham-splaining radio theory, how the human ear perceives audio, and the benefits of USB-C charging on radios. And of course, pretty much everyone ignored the actual question, which specified, which explicitly said, as far as reception goes. The guy just wants to know, does a more expensive radio receive things better than a cheaper radio? Now, before I go any further, allow me to enunciate a disclaimer. I am not going to tell you if this $35 radio is any better than this $135 radio or even a $235 radio, because as everyone knows, this is just one of those BS sponsored videos. And you can never believe anything those shills in those videos tell you. Affiliate links below. Instead, I will explain the difference between this $35 radio, affiliate link below, and this $120 Wuxin Ocean KG905G available only at buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate link below. If, however, I were to answer such a question, my answer would be yes. As far as reception, there can be a noticeable difference between a $35 radio and a $100 radio or $135 radio, but probably not very much, if any, difference between a $100 or $135 radio. I think this one is $120 available only at buy2wayradios.com. Affiliate link below. Not much difference between this $100 radio and a $235 radio as the person originally asking the question asked. I don't even have a $235 radio and off the top of my head, I don't think anyone makes a $235 radio. I don't think anyone makes a radio that costs over $200 or $180 or $190. But fear not, because if anyone does make a $235 radio, either now or ever, anywhere in the history of man, the experts will leave a comment to let everybody know that I was wrong. And the reason that a $135 radio, that this radio is not $135, as the person asking the original question asked this radio, the KG905G, available only at buy2wayradios.com, is about $100 or $120. Affiliate links below. But the reason that this 100, I'm just going to say $100 radio, the reason this $100 radio can receive better than this $35 radio is mostly because most of the more expensive radios, such as this Wuxin Ocean KG905G, available only at buy2wayradios.com, Affiliate link below. These more expensive radios are almost always a super heterodyne type radio. Super heterodyne, also known as dual conversion. Dual conversion 
type radio. And a dual conversion or super heterodyne type radio is generally more expensive to build and therefore more expensive to sell than the cheaper SOC or system on a chip type radios, such as this $35 Boofwang radio. These SOC system on a chip radios are also known as direct conversion or homodyne, homodyne type radios. And the more expensive super heterodyne radios are generally more sensitive than the less expensive SOC or homodyne type radios. Now, when I say that the more expensive radios, the super heterodyne radios, such as this Wuxin Ocean KG905G, when I say that they are more sensitive, I do not mean that they wear man buns and cry easily. I mean that they can hear more stuff. They have better reception and can pick up more radio waves. Another big advantage of the super heterodyne radios over the less expensive SOC or homodyne type radios is that the more expensive super heterodyne radios have what the experts call better selectivity. Selectivity. This means that if you are in an area with a lot of RF electricities running wild in the streets like in the big city, you may hear a lot of bleed over and static on a homodyne type radio and less bleed over and static on a super heterodyne type, more expensive radio. All that said, many people, most people with normal human ear holes may not even notice a difference, especially if they only use their radios when they're out adventuring in the desert or the mountains where there is not a lot of RF noise pollution in the airwaves. But as previously mentioned, if you are in the big city or in any place with a lot of RF pollution, it could make a big difference. Now, I would be remiss if I did not mention some of the other benefits of a more expensive radio when compared to their lesser expensive brethren. As I have already mentioned in several videos many times, usually, on average, most of the time, a $35 radio, such as this Boofwang, will have the exact same number of FARs as this more expensive super heterodyne Wuxin Ocean KG905G. They talk the same distance. Many times the more expensive radios will have more waterproofness than the cheaper radios, but not always. As a matter of fact, this less expensive Boofwang GMRS9R has a better waterproofness rating than the Wuxin Ocean KG905G. Affiliate link below. Other advantages are many times the more expensive radio will have better audio. Many times a more expensive radio will have better and more features. Many times a more expensive radio will have better software to program it with than the less expensive radio. Many times a more expensive radio will have a better user manual. And almost universally, you will get better customer support from the company that sells the $100 radio when compared to the company that sells the $35 radio. But beware, just because a radio is more expensive does not necessarily mean that it is a super heterodyne radio, such as this Wuxin Ocean KG905G. Available only at buy2wayradios.com. And even if it is a super heterodyne radio and more expensive, that does not necessarily mean that it's not a piece of junk. So before buying any radio, always do your homework and most important, Always watch those BS sponsored videos.